The Eagles are on the road in Cleveland to face the Browns. Browns are three-point home favorites. I think that's exactly where this number ends, so you know my pick right from the start. The Eagles, they're 35-22 and 22 against spread as road dogs since 2005. Philly, 17 turnovers, ranked tied for 29th in the league. Eagles D is tied for third in sacks with 31 and have 74 QB hits. And they rarely blitz. That's the impressive part about that number. That front four that rotates in and out, it's really like a front seven or front eight because of how much rotation the Eagles do use. That is one bright spot on the Eagles team this year. The home team is 5-0 against spread burst. Cleveland ranks 26th in defensive success rate, 19th in DVOA while facing the second softest schedule of opposing offenses so far this year. So some of their numbers might be even worse than what they appear to be. Ertz returns Wentz, a league-high 12 interceptions with a 71.1 QB rating and 28th in QBR at 47.6 and has been sacked a league-high 35 times. Browns, Miles Garrett's tied for first with nine and a half sacks and tied for first with four first bump forced fumbles and has a pair of fumble recoveries. The one thing going for the Eagles, why I think they can cover the spread, I don't think they're good enough to win this game. Well, on paper, they are the better team in my opinion, but the way they played this year, you can't support them in any fucking way. They, they had two weeks to prepare for a bad Giants team, and that's the fucking game plan that Peterson comes up with. Are you fucking kidding me? That was atrocious and predictable right from the get-go against a bad New York Giants team. I have no faith in, in them winning this game. The, one, the only bright spot is A, the defensive line, and B, that Mayfield doesn't play well under pressure. And without blitzing much, the Eagles are ranked number six in QB pressure. So Cleveland to win, the Eagles to cover the spread.